Hi, I'm Dr. Philip McMillan. Thank you for joining me. And today I'm talking about something that's a little bit strange. Embalmers seeing strange blood clots. Is there a scientific explanation? Why would I even be thinking about this at this point? Well, I have to give thanks to Dr. John Campbell. I'm sorry that he is uh, banned for this week, but he did a very interesting presentation about this topic a few weeks or months ago, and I caught my attention. There was a specific point that he said that really got me thinking. Now, I'm talking about this a little bit in an abstract way because I don't know if I can speak about it openly at this point, but I'm just the curious sort. Whenever I hear anything that strange, I always want to try and understand if there could be any kind of clinical context. And that's what it is that caught my attention with regards to this. And so just about a week from today, on Thursday, this discussion on Eventbrite will be held. I'll be looking at this strange pattern. This is on Eventbrite. It's Thursday, the 11th of May at 7 p.m. UK time. There's a link below that you can register at. And I want you to register on it, register for it there. And you can listen to me talk about it. I'll, re I'll remind you of the time, Thursday next week. And um, there's limited availability. So for those who are interested, please sign up. And if you're not sure, please don't take the space. But here is the point. It's important in these times to ensure that all scientific observations are taken seriously. Now, this came to the attention of the world through a program called Died Suddenly. Now, truthfully, I have never watched it, but you can see in this image here that they've got all these stringy materials floating around on the uh, glove of someone here that they say was taken out of bodies when embalmers were preparing them for funerals. Now, I have heard about that for some time, but truthfully, I did largely ignore it. I should have been a little bit more curious. But as I said, my curiosity was even more significantly roused when Dr. John Campbell spoke about it. And the link to that conversation is not on YouTube. You'll have to look on the Eventbrite site at the link below um, to see what he said. But in that conversation, he highlighted this pattern and he showed this image here of these blobs of material that would appear after the blood was cooled. That's what caught my attention. As soon as I heard that, I suddenly realized that there may be clinical context for this because I'm looking for pathology. Anyone who has been following my work will know that I've been focused on autoimmunity. And I've always said that severe COVID-19 is a viral mediated autoimmune response. What that means is that the virus doesn't do the damage, but it almost triggers the immune system to cause a very severe response targeting ACE2, which leads to the lung inflammation. To me, it seems very logical. But within that context, I'm always looking for autoimmunity because autoimmunity can come not just from the infection, but also anything that mimics the spike protein in any way. That's an important point. And therefore I have been looking out for this and that's just again, down to my curiosity. I suspect that this could happen and therefore I'm looking to see clinical context. So as I said, when this was demonstrated by Dr. John Campbell at the link that you will see on Eventbrite, I immediately searched and found what I thought was the clinical context. And here we have it. This is from a paper that I'll explain, expand on um, in the presentation where we see something that would look very, very similar. This here is control plasma. This here is from a patient. And we can see that very similar substance in the serum of the person. They had a specific condition and that's what I'm interested in because 
could this be relevant to kinds of conditions and presentations that we're going to see in the next few years? These are important questions. Here is another paper that had this image in it. And you can see here uh, this at the bottom of the serum. And again, it occurred when the blood was cooled. That's very similar to what they noticed at autopsy here. So when I look at those two pictures, I realize that there is clinical precedent. This could be identifying a pattern that occurs in certain conditions. And based on my autoimmune research, it would make perfect sense in the context of what could be happening across the globe. Again, I ask hard questions. I'm not afraid to look at what we're seeing, and I don't believe that we should ignore anything that is abnormal in this pandemic. Everything must be assessed. And if there is one mistake that we have made throughout the pandemic, is that we haven't done enough at looking at pathology, that's autopsy, across the board. I'll make sure that you have the context of what we're talking about, because there's the other side of the story. And the other side of the story, in, uh, essentially, this is by the European Digital Media Observation, um, Observatory, and they put this out as this died suddenly is just another conspiracy video about COVID-19. They seem to link it with vaccines and disinformation, same old hoaxes. And that's quite reasonable because if you don't have any evidence, you can't say for certain. However, what I would call them out on is that they should have insisted that this pathology was explored. If it's being seen, by people who don't normally see that pattern, we shouldn't ignore it. Where is our scientific curiosity? What is it that is lacking these days that would allow us to go past clear abnormal patterns and just let them be? That's not good science. And that's not where I come from. So if you are just as curious, I want you to remember Join me by registering at the link below on Eventbrite. It's for next week, Thursday, 11th of May at 7 p.m. UK time. It's a completely free presentation, but it will only be available at that point. So if you want to see it for free, at least you need to come and join me at that time. So please, let's increase our curiosity at this time because these are days when everything seems to be taking a different pattern. We need to find all the answers. Have a great evening.